I'm Nancy Quinn and thanks for joining me again on another high noon tea on a winter day like this you know sometimes only the kettle will do and today I'm going to be making some forest berry tea and it was a gift from my cousin and I'm really enjoying it now this one's a little bit different because it doesn't have a tea bag and so we're going to go ahead and put a little of it into a tea ball. And it's starting to sound like our kettle is just about ready. I like the old fashioned ones that whistle. Yep, I think we've just about got it. So I'm going to close this up. It does have a little bit of the loose tea inside. And it's a pretty one with a teacup on it. So we're going to put it in here and pour this. And we're going to let this steep just for a minute while we talk. Excellent. I've also got a little bit of the cranberry cake that was from uh, which one? episode 17 so you can get the recipe and this berry tea goes with it it's really good so it's about the time when i begin to answer questions that i get from people and i'm so glad you send them to me mm. oh that's just silly <laughs> so let's get to my first question which is from cindy in arizona and she asks me nancy i want to be a published author one day so where do I start? Well, I think a lot of people have that question and it's a very good one. There are several options. The first one is to become a self-published author. A lot of people are doing that these days. If you decide that you want to try with a traditional publishing house, you could query an agent. There are people that represent you and they find you publishing houses or you can go directly to the publishing house itself. Um, that's actually the option that I did. Hey! Oh. So when I was signed on with Hellgate Press, I had already queried about 14 publishers and agents and they were all rejected. And so on my 15th try, I was able to come to an agreement with Hellgate Press. And so 15 is now my new lucky number. But, you know, success is basically, it's just a series of failures without losing your enthusiasm to go forward. So whichever way you decide to try to publish your book, I really wish you all the success in the world because there's no right way and I hope you find exactly what's best for you. Mary in the UK, she happened to see my post recently on Facebook about homemade donuts. And actually there's, there's a funny story relating to that because once it posted, it had only been up for about 15 minutes or so. And Gene from Florida sent me a message and he said, oh no, you're killing me with this photo of donuts. And the first thing he did, he was away from home, he saw it on his phone, and he drove to the nearest bakery to pick up donuts because apparently it really motivated him and put him in the mood for donuts. So that's, that was kind of fun. Uh, but Mary's question was, do you have any top tips on donut making? And do you have a deep fat fryer? Well, Mary, uh, probably the, the most important tip for your donut making is to make sure that you do let your dough rise for a little bit because that helps make it really tender. And I don't use a deep fat fryer. I have a big skillet 
and we put them in the skillet with just a few inches of oil and we just fry them on each side and turn them so they're not completely immersed. And my other real secret ingredient is nutmeg. I think if you put a little bit in, you'll be really surprised on what a great flavor you're going to have on your donuts. So hopefully that helped you. In fact, the tea, tea is almost ready. I am gonna have it with a little bite of my cranberry bread. And that one is episode 17, I believe, on making the cranberry cake. So I hope you look at that one as well. You know, I really appreciate all of you that send in questions and comments, and I read all of them. So thank you very much. And if you have any more that you wanna send, you can put them in the comments below, or you can send it to me in a message uh, through Facebook or through my website. So I hope you take a look at the links. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you're interested in videos about life in the modern Wild West. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.